Hey everybody, welcome back. Yep, today I'm going to do a video on which one is actually cheaper to run. I know I haven't done something like this in quite a while, but I figured it's getting cold outside. A lot of you car guys bring their stuff into your garage, <clears throat> and not everybody has really nice heaters in the garage, so I figured I would do a comparison from kerosene to propane. Which one is cheaper to run, which one is actually just more economical all the way around. I've done the math on them. I've been using this one for actually probably about four years. And I really can't complain with it. Yes, I did do a video on it on doing the diesel and stuff like that. So you guys can watch that one. But what I wanted to do was I've had this one for four years. It's actually been very, very reliable, which I'm very grateful for. This propane topper, I've had this one probably about three years. It has done very, very well. And for how much usage it uses and how much this costs versus what this uses, the kerosene heater, versus how much this costs. Now, the thing is, these kerosene heaters, they're not cheap. Everybody knows that. You can get these roughly for probably about 150 bucks. I looked them up like Walmart and stuff like that. You can probably order them through Walmart because I've never seen them on the shelves here. But these are roughly probably about $150, $159. And I always love how they put $159.99. Like, everyone thinks it's not $160 because you took away a penny. You're not fooling anybody. So it's roughly probably about $160. Bucks. Maybe you can find them at Lowe's or Home Depot, maybe a little bit cheaper, which I'm sure you probably can. Or you can look on Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist. You can pick these up very, very cheap, which is nice. You might have to change a wick. But you know what? The wicks, you can get them anywhere between $10 to $15. They last... For years they do I mean you I've seen these in the garbage you can run these for probably what three to five years for you really got to change a wick if you use them you know for a decent amount of time so I've seen it going as low as 25 bucks to people who just don't want them anymore and I've even seen these in the garbage you know if you want to get one out of the garbage that's up to you because a lot of people think they're disposable once the wicks go if it's rusted out in the tank don't touch it. It's in the garbage for a reason. But if you can get one used and it's in nice shape, it's not all rusted out, and it's not leaking, then great. You can save yourself a few bucks versus buying it for $160 plus tax. These toppers, they're not badly priced either. I've seen them going from $45 to $55, depending on which store you go to. Home Depot, Lowe's, they're probably in that range. Now, BTU-wise... This will do probably max, I think, 13, 14,000 BTUs, which isn't really, really bad if you run it on high, maybe 15,000. And I just got dripped that on my ceiling. Oh, nice. <laughs> because I have aluminum up there and it's sweating like crazy. This one right here, this will go all the way up to 15,000 BTUs as well. So BTU-wise, they're pretty much putting out the same. But here's where it really boils down to. Kerosene is very, very expensive right now. Kerosene seems to reflect on the price of fuel that you put in your car and diesel fuel. When the price of that goes up, kerosene goes through the roof. I've done the math on this, okay? So, the math on this, yes, I'm using a cheat sheet. Don't judge me, okay? <laughs> now, for kerosene, here, it is $7.20 a gallon. That is ridiculous. It should never be that high. Even last year, it was a little over four dollars a gallon, and I thought I thought that was high. That was last year. Okay, it's gone up three dollars. So, I usually pick up about five gallons. Five gallons runs me about thirty-six dollars. It's up there for five gallons. So now, when I use this, okay, I put in about a gallon of it at a time. I don't fill it all the way up. I'll put a gallon in it. Wow, that is really dripping on me. Thanks a lot. <laughs> I'm not going to stand there right now. So, actually, I'll just back up. So, $36 for five gallons. Now, being in here, you know, I mess around in here. I'll, you know, work on things. If I use this, okay, a gallon of it, if I'm in here maybe six hours or something, six, seven hours, I'll burn through maybe half a gallon. Not too bad. If I keep an eye, I keep it not really on low, maybe a tad higher because I don't want to keep it up super high. And this is using the K1 kerosene, which is clear, and it doesn't smell. 
Now the red dye kerosene, I've seen it as high out here at $9.88 a gallon because they're the only place in the area that is outrageous for a gallon of it. I would never pay that. I've seen it at, for a gallon of the K1, I've seen it actually at Walmart yesterday for a little under $10 a gallon. Even that's still pretty high, you know, but it's K1. If you need it bad enough, yeah, you're going to do what you have to do. But for K1 kerosene out of a gas station out here, $36 for five gallons, which is not too bad. So burn time, I will get roughly about 10 days out of it. Okay, that's using it six, seven hours a day, which isn't too bad for about a half, half gallon. So that brings me down to roughly about $3.60 a day which isn't too bad, okay? So it is $36 for five gallons at $3.60 a day. But you gotta remember, if you pay full price for one of these out of the store, you're gonna spend $160, okay? So if you, like I said, if you can pick one up used through Marketplace, you know, that's a great place to buy some of these. A lot of people just don't want them anymore. You know, they use them for a little bit, then they wanna get rid of them. Even though, even if they're older, they're still good. They still work really well. You just got to clean them up some and maybe put a fresh wick in it and you're good to go. You spend maybe 25 bucks. You spend maybe $10 for another wick for a brand new one. What do you get? 40 bucks out the door maybe with everything? Not too bad. So with the topper, okay, the price on that, we already know they're about 45 to $55, give or take here and there from where you get it from. If you already have a propane tank, you can take one off your grill. Great. If you already got some fuel in it, some propane, you're good to go. But in each state, the requirement is different on the age of the tank. So it's places like 7-Eleven, things like that, they always kind of had an exchangement. It's very expensive to swap out. So it does cost quite a bit. But to get this filled, I went to Tractor Supply. They seem to be pretty decent. They are roughly $4 a gallon for propane. Okay. And this, it took about... Four and a half gallons to fill it. That cost me nineteen dollars and one penny. I'm not gonna worry about the penny. I can actually get seven days out of this, okay? Before I gotta fill it again, and that's running it for about the same amount of time as this for maybe five or six hours, you know, and shut it off. Use it again the next day. It gets hot faster. Puts out the same BTUs, but these warm up very, very quickly, which is nice because it gets the room warmer. This takes a little bit, you know, this probably takes about five minutes before it really gets glowing and it's starting to throw out some heat. So doing the math on this, okay, it cost me $2.72 a day versus this cost me $3.60 a day. Not too bad, but don't forget, you might have to buy a tank, but if you have one, you're good. Topper, if you're buying this used versus a brand new topper, you're pretty much even on what you spent there. Okay, so now at $27.16 a day for 10 days. So that's not really that bad, you know, considering this burns actually pretty clean. It does, it doesn't give off any odor. You know, it is, if you're using it in your garage, you know, it's good to keep or maybe a window cracked open, get some fresh air in there so this way you can ventilate. It's good to keep this room ventilated like here. I have ceiling vents, you know, I'll crack one of them open. So this way I'm probably losing a little bit of heat, but then again, I'm getting some fresh air in too. So it, it's okay for that. So now, okay, the big thing is, see if you have to buy one of these and you gotta buy one brand new. Cause usually when winter time hits when it gets really, really cold out, nobody likes to part with these. Summertime, you know, spring, people are getting rid of these things. All day long. You you can find them. People just want to clean out the garage. They don't want them anymore. So you can get them cheap. But if you got to buy a brand new, you're going to take a big hit. Does it suck? Yes. Nobody wants to spend $160 to try and save some money on heating your garage. Or if your power goes out and you need to heat your house. Because that does happen in places. You know, the power goes out. You get a windstorm. You get an ice storm. Or just something else happens. You know, a truck hits a utility pole and takes out power for the whole neighborhood. So, yeah, if you gotta buy one of these, you're gonna take a hit, buy them used. Make sure they're nice and clean, like I said. Maybe you can get away with a good wick, but you know what, it doesn't hurt to put a fresh wick in it. I did an instructional video, there's plenty of videos out there where you can figure out how to put these in there. 
even if you're not mechanically inclined, there really isn't much to them. If you're not sure when you take the cover off, take a picture of things, of how it comes apart. Do it step by step. That's how you're going to learn. There's plenty of tutorials out there of guys that are putting wicks in these things and everything else. So, price-wise for this, buying it used is equivalent to buying this new. Okay? You're even there. Buying a brand new, yeah, you're going to take a hit. You're not really saving any money. That's the only drawback to that. But at the end of the day, buying them used, okay, buying this used, I would buy these brand new. I've seen people trying to sell these things, and they malfunction. I bought one actually used, and you know what? After about a month of using it, it started leaking propane. It was flaring up. It was a bad idea all the way around. Somebody got rid of it for a reason. I do not recommend buying these used. Please don't do that. They're dangerous. They do have a shelf life just like everything else. So I recommend you buy this brand new. Spend the $45. You'll thank yourself. If there's a problem with it, you can take it back to the store where you receive and probably get an exchange, but I'm sure. Or if you don't feel safe with it, you just don't use it ever again. Okay. Now... I've gone through everything and how much it's all going to cost. Buying used, buy new, you're good. So what I've come to, okay, remember, four dollars a gallon for four and a half gallons, Ramy nineteen bucks per day, okay, for seven days, seven dollars and seventy-two cents for propane, okay. That's not too bad for ten days. Kerosene, since it's so much more expensive, that's seven dollars and twenty cents a gallon. Ugh. $36 for five gallons, that's a big hit. I mean, that's almost twice as much as what you're spending on the propane. But you get three more days extra out of it. This a day, okay, me using it maybe six hours, $3.60 a day, because that's roughly about a half gallon. Okay, so $36 for 10 days, $27.16 for 10 days. The price difference, yep, made a cheat sheet again. Using propane for the same amount of money, for the same amount of days, propane wins. I actually saved myself $8.84 by using propane. Is it cleaner to use? Yeah. The K1 kerosene is very nice to have because it's clear, it doesn't smell, it doesn't, you know, like the dyed kerosene stinks. You know, it doesn't smell good. You smell like you've been buying... You even buy a car that's running rich. It just it sticks to your clothes. You just smell bad. You need a shower. Nobody wants to be around you. So, money wise for this, buying it used, not a bad deal. But at the end of the day, you're saving yourself roughly about nine bucks for ten days. Not too bad. So me, I think propane wins. If you guys got a different comment down below, please leave it. And I'm sure where you go from state to state and everywhere else, the price of kerosene is different. This is the price for it here in, in New York State. So it's going to be different where you live. But this is how much it costs me here. So wherever you are, you know what? Run the same test. Do what I did. You know, do it by the, you know, the same amount of gallons and see, you know, and time them and see how much time you get out of them. You know, it might be more expensive in your state. might be cheaper. Some places, you know, somebody left a comment on one of my other videos. They only get dyed kerosene. It smells... But you know what? Sometimes you do what you got to do. I mean, like if your power goes out or, you know, and you need to heat your house or your water lines don't freeze, you do what you got to do. But like I said, this one, not that it failed. Financially, it failed. Not too bad. Okay. You know, for a winter season, I mean, let's just say you're running it for three months. Okay. I mean, for what? Ten days? I mean, do the math on it. I mean, you're probably going to save yourself roughly, what, for 10 days? 10, what, maybe a little over 100 bucks, maybe 120. You'll save yourself. But to some people right now, that's a lot of money. I understand that. You know, the name of the game is, is trying to keep the money in your pocket and not spend it. Because, you know what, if you have $125 you can save on, like, heating something you need to that's important and you need that money for something else for bills... And hey, this is a good way to go. But if you're using this, please have a ventilated area. You know, if you have to use it in your home, please be very careful with it. They're not 
really meant to be used in your home. If you have like a cabin or something, these are fantastic for like a garage like this. These are great. You know, if I mean, I don't really recommend using it in your house for like an emergency use only. You know, keep a really good eye on it. If you have pets, keep them near it. Little kids, keep them away from it. You know, just like if you have a, you know a fireplace in your house. You know, you got to be careful. So I'm going to end this one here. To me, propane wins. Kerosene kind of loses because roughly it's $9 more for 10 days. So I'm going to walk around the camera because my editing skills suck. And I'm not good at it, and I'll admit that. So if you like this video, please leave a comment down below. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.